is called the Field of Angels. It is a memorial dedicated to slave children. Uh, we collected 2,200 names of children who died very early, most of them before the second or third birthday, here in this parish only. death, May the 3rd of 1860. The child didn't have a name, he was too, too young. But they described him as a little Negro. And how old was he? He was little. Plaques with the names of 2,200 slave children who died here. And if you added all of their ages up and divided by 22, the average was less than three years old. And we have the, the date of death and the name of the of the child. For example, here the child was 16 days old and um, his her mother was Celeste. Y'all yeah. go ahead and have a seat. Preaching about subservience, these are the ways to heaven, right? But you can imagine that an, an enslaved person might not want to hear that message. They might be wanting to hear about the Israelites. People who made this church, who built this church, they signed the charter with X's because they were it still they were illiterate in those early years. We want to have the spirit of humanity activated here, because even if you have no personal guilt, all of us have a reason to grieve. We all know that that was terrible, what happened. And we can all grieve here. Says for sugar, historically, this would have been done by hand. So the slaves would go out there, they'd burn the field, You go to the quarters and you see where the slave lived, what is the slave cabin, and you see that uh, it wasn't comfortable at all. Tiny houses, you may have maybe two families in the same house, in the same cabin. That they had tried to run away, especially. And if someone has tried to run away, odds are they're going to try it again. Also, enslaved people could be confined in jail cells like this if they had tried to run away and they were caught by slave uh, catchers. Hopefully, you know, places like this, like this museum, may help people learn about slavery and uh, help them, you know, to be willing to do something about the legacies of slavery. I think before we can heal, you have to have a scab. And before you have that scab, we have to admit that there's something wrong. Something happened. This happened. It's not, it's not that it's told sentimentally and that there's some, you know, movie music played behind you. It's just that it's told in a matter of fact, very visual, very visceral way. And it's, it's just done so elegantly and, and it's just done very well. I think everyone needs to come see this display. <laughs>